hello everyone how are you and uh, the reason that this video was so delayed was because i lost the script or uh, i actually found it again so it's like the script only took two hours to write but i actually found it um so okay just let's begin sharks are a group of cartilaginous fish meaning the skeletons are made from cartilage rather than bone this is the reason why so many prehistoric sharks are known primarily if not exclusively by the fossilized teeth because cartilage doesn't fossilize the way that bones do the earliest sharks appeared in the ordovician period 420 million years ago if you were to look at them you wouldn't think that they would be apex predators but they started to become a bit more like what they look today in the devonian period the one of the earliest sharks was called cladocelish i'm pronouncing that right cladocelish had anatomically similar features to today's sharks it had seven gill slits and unlike most sharks was devoid of scales with the ex- exception of small cusp scales on the edges of the fins mouth and eyes it had a semi unate tail with fin with the superior lobe around the same size as the inferior this became useful in outswimming the heavily armored placoderm we all know as dunkelosius in the devonian sharks began to have a variety of interesting shapes this group included a genus of shark known as xenacanthids One of these sharks is called Xenacanthus. It had a much more eel-like appearance with a dorsal fin which extended around extended throughout its body and merged with the tail fin. It had a, a spike on its head which is maybe venomous. Another Xenacanthid, Orthocanthus, has evidence of being a cannibal. Teeth of juvenile orthocanthuses have been found inside the bodies of adults. Although orthocanthus and xenocanthus lived 400 million years ago, they were 10 feet long. However, a shark which lived 382 million years ago, xenocanthus was only 2 feet long and weighed from 10 to 20 pounds. It is known for its abnormal dorsal fin, which looks like an I don't know what it is. Scientists, I don't really see it. Either canthus was probably a bottom feeder, which means it fed on the bottom of the sea floor, scavenging. This was because of the heavy dorsal fin slowing it, slowing it down. Moving on, during the Carboniferous, sharks retained their body shape of you know the modern sharks, but their mouths began to be. a bit more interesting pelicatus lived during the carboniferous period and was about a foot long males had a thin spine which st- stuck out above the head this between ma- this difference between males and females is also seen today in a variety of animals adestus also lived during the carboniferous period and grew up to 20 feet in length unlike today's sharks Adestus had only one row of teeth, which it did not shed when they became weak. This caused its jaw to look like pinking shells. The next shark on our list has gone through various transformations over the course of 120 years. This shark is known as Helicoprion. The Helicoprion was originally discovered in 1899, but we had extremely you know different reconstructions from what we have today it went from this to this to finally this and it was finally came to this in 2013 in 2011 a tooth hole was discovered and it was even though incomplete we can estimate it to be about 24 inches long the creature itself was about 33 feet long the coprion was finally reconstructed to something that doesn't look so 
Look, I, I don't know. Something from the amazing world of Gumball. The amazing people who have reconstructed the shark what it is today are... I'm not even gonna try to pronounce those names because I will absolutely butcher them. You can see these names here. So that was a lot of time about Helicopter. Oh wait, I think I'm missing something. Oh, yeah, what was that movie this year? What was it called? Oh, the Megalodon. You can't, you can't forget the Megalodon. Of course I didn't forget the Megalodon. It's everywhere. The Megalodon has had such a big influence in pop culture and media. And sometimes fake documentaries. And yeah, it's a lot. Megalodon lived about 4.4 4 million years ago. It was 70 feet long, which was absolutely massive. It hunted down the massive animals like whales. For a long time, people have believed Megalodon to look like an oversized great white with the exact same proportions. However, new studies have suggested that it might have looked like a basking shark with a larger tail with a la with a way larger tail the Meg megalodon went extinct 2.6 million years ago because of change in the climate and the ecosystem i would like you to thank you guys to wa for watching this video this video is not as long as my normal video since i edited it with audacity so i cut out all the silences uh, so thanks for watching be sure to leave a like and comment about it, subscribe and share this video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.